Isha SK, the head girl of Oak Ridge International School, Bangalore. And today, I'm here to talk to all of you about a very interesting topic that I came across recently. Let me begin by saying that if any of you have ever placed a plant clipping in a glass of water and hoped that it would develop roots, then you have already practiced a form of hydroponics. Hydroponics is a branch of agriculture which allows plants to grow without the use of soil. The nutrients that plants uh, absorb from soil are simply transferred or dissolved into water instead. The term hydroponics was derived from the Greek word hydros meaning water and ponos meaning work. In today's world, the population is skyrocketing and this causes the land available for crop production to decline to a great extent. And I believe that hydroponics provides us a lifeline of sorts and allows us to produce crops in multi-level buildings that are dedicated to agricultures and even greenhouses for that matter. Now, hydroponics is actually a system that has been practiced for thousands of years. I'm sure all of you must have heard about the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, which are one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. It has been largely believed that the gardens have actually functioned on the basis of hydroponic principles. Now, if you would still like to ask me why we should switch to hydroponics, then I'd love to speak about that for a little bit. Hydroponics are actually a much more efficient method of producing crops than traditional farming. Why? Because firstly, they allow us to grow plants in areas which traditional agriculture actually forbids or deems impossible. For example, in arid climate regions like Arizona as well as Israel, hydroponics has been practiced for many de decades successfully now. Many other environmental benefits include the fact that it uses only 10% of the water that is used by soil-based agriculture, mainly because it reuses and recycles water. It only uses about 25% of nutrients and fertilizers used by traditional agriculture and almost no pesticides. It also allows for shorter harvest periods, which helps us grow healthier plants in shorter times, almost half the amount that is required by traditional agriculture. Now, why hasn't hydroponics taken over the world yet? Mainly because of the fact that it has a high capital investment and a superstition that it requires too much scientific know-how. However, actually it is a simple science that can be practiced by you and I at home. And we can begin with simple plants like herbs, can be uh, basil or mint, as well as salad greens like lettuce or spinach. By 2050, scientists expect the world's population to grow to a large number, 9.2 billion people, and due to this, the land available for crop production might decrease to a large extent. Now, what are you waiting for? Big goodbye to the traditional agricultural methods and join me in practicing hydroponics, the agriculture of the future, to help us make a much more sustainable world. Thank you.